Hello everyone, this is Anime Convention, wow this really sounds right, this is ACV, my name is Anubis. And this is Kaminoko, and today uh, introducing our new member, Jason Adar. He was real slow in the speech on that one. Sorry, I feel like brain not working. It's cool, it's cool. And what we will be doing today is the guest and kind of musical, musical and artist at Katsu Khan 2015, I'm correct. I think so. Yeah, 2015. Um, I will start personally right now uh, with voice actors and actresses as well, because both are very well loved by the community. I have Mr. Mike McFarlane. If you know this actor, he has done a lot of work. Let's, for instance, say Dragon Ball Z series from Dragon Ball to all the way to GT. This, this man has done a lot of great work. He started his career being one of the very few Texans actually hired by Funimation Entertainment. If you don't know who they are, that's a problem. <laughs> he also does director's work. He does script writing as well. This, this gentleman has done a lot of work. He has done things from Kitty Grade, Shin Khan, Space Daddy, freaking Yu Yu Hakusho. This man is very lucrative in what he does, and I appreciate everything that he does because I'm a Dragon Ball Z nerd. Also, he does Phoenix Wright as well, which is pretty good. We have Utsuhi, musical guest at Katsukan this year. The Japanese energetic punk rock band Utsuhi was born in fall 2004 in New York City, not Japan. Utsuhi means the sun in Japanese. The origin of the name comes directly uh, from their strong creative music. Music has no borders. As the sun shines throughout the world, Utsuhi's goal is to play music for the world, for this generation. In the beginning, they were usually categorized as a heavy rock or a hardcore band, but the loss of several members obliged the singer Gosha and guitar, the guitarist uh, to transition to an acu acoustic punk rock uh, two-piece band. But in 2007, they connected with new members, the pianist Tsubasa and a drummer, and developed a new style. In their home base of New York City, uh, they've played such venues as CBGB, Knitting Factory, Webster Hall, and Santos Party House. They mainly tour on the East Coast, um, also playing many conventions and cult other cultural events such as Sakura Matsuri in DC, Otakon, Anime Next, and also Common in Costa Rica, so they travel internationally as well. But because of Otsuhi's diverse style of shows, They've met with a, a great number of fans across many cultures with their simple and positive music, um, with its unique mix of guitars, keyboards, drums, and passionate vocal performances. Utsuhi's motto is, music is not what we look at. Music is not what we listen to. Music is what we feel. Okay, next up for you, we have a number of webcomic artists that are gonna be panelists at Katsukan. Uh, first, we have Paul Taylor of Wapsi Square. He attributes um, his creation of Wapsi Square to a healthy dose of Warner Brothers cartoons and scary movies. Um, his webcomic covers a multitude of genres, which covers mythology and also combining cuteness with a bit of macabre. When he's not working full time on Wapsi Square, Paul is usually running errands with his eight year old son or watching a movie with his awesomely cool wife. All right, going back to voice actors and actress, actresses, I have Matthew Mercer. Matthew Mercer is a Los Angeles-based voice actor doing both animation and video games. Well known for his roles as Leon Kennedy in the Resident Evil franchise. We also have a Captain Levy for all our Attack on Titan fans out there. People who know the Fate Zero, <clears throat> excuse me on that. He uh, works also as Emiya and Gun Gunadar and Nock also being well known as Alvin in the Tales of Zelia series as well. Uh, as you can tell, this gentleman has done many works in a lot of really well-known animes and kind of works very well with the community. Jeremy Lee, uh, next to artist, has been in the industry for 20 years uh, doing uh, various uh, different types of uh, acting and voice acting. Her anime projects include Lucy in Fairy Tale, Asuna in Sword Art Online, Road in D. Gray Man, Lizzie in Black Butler, Mai in Ghost Hunter, Ghost Hunt, sorry, and Patty in Soul Eater. And she's worked on several video games, perhaps best known Borderlands 2. Uh, she plays the popular DLC Gage. 
She's also been announced to be playing Sailor Venus in the new Sailor Moon Crystal. She's appeared in the Emmy Award-winning Temple Grandin, as well as Friday Night Lights, uh, Bones, and Longmire, to name a few. She's worked on Fast Food Nation with uh, Richard Linklater. Uh, she will star, her first starring role actually, is going to be in the upcoming faith-based drama Beyond the Farthest Star. And she's also starred in and produced uh, two seasons of the award-winning web series Throwing Stones. And she has other projects in various stages of uh, production, including her original play, Happy No Year, uh, coming later this year in Los Angeles. To follow up, we have Ava's Demon. She graduated School of Visual Arts in 2011 for Computer Art and, Imagina and Animation. Um, from there, she went on to DreamWorks in 2012, and her credits include Me, Me and My Shadow, as well as Home. From then, she quit DreamWorks Animation in 2013 after running a successful Kickstarter campaign for Ava's Demon. She hopes to continue making comics and writing stories after Ava's Demon is finished, and she has high hopes for the future. This is Anime Convention Video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos. All right, and my name is Anubis. This is Kamidoko. And this is Jason Adar. Signing out.